Can a relationship that starts in reality TV turn into the real thing? Well, our next guest will probably say no, I guess. Chantelle Houghton, winner of Celebrity Big Brother 2006 and newly divorced this week from Preston, who she met in the house, of course. I'm going to speak to her in just a moment, but first, here is Michelle Morrison. Chantel and Preston were the love story of 2006. They met in January when she entered the celebrity Big Brother house as the only non-celebrity. Despite Preston already living with his fiancée Camille, it was clear to see there was an instant attraction between the ordinary boy and Chantel. She went on to be the winner of Celebrity Big Brother and once they were both out of the house and the constant glare of the TV cameras, romance blossomed. Preston ditched Camille Meal to be with the girl he famously called his bimbo. Then came the engagement, followed by their Mayfair wedding, serialised in OK magazine for reported £300,000. <laughs> but after just 10 months of marriage, the couple announced they were separating, and this week they were divorced. They both apparently made £1 million each during the relationship. Well, Chantal is with us now. Good morning. I'm sorry that you've got divorced. Are you sorry that it didn't work out as well? Yeah, I am. You know, I would love to. I would have loved it to have worked out, but you know, it's just one of them things, and you know, it's just part of life, isn't it? You've got to move on. Well, I guess it is. But what a life you've had. You I know. know, it's been amazing. Uh, uh, since, especially since being with Big Brother. So you went into the house and, and you met Preston and, and fell in love. Came out, and obviously things didn't go. So there was a story in the paper this week, which I really hope is true, where apparently you're in Brighton in a shop with your little dog. And you, the, the shop assistant said, what's the dog called? And you said, Fifi Trixabel. And he said, no, I told you, it's actually Beelzebub. And that sort of highlighted the differences. <laughs> you couldn't even agree what to call a dog's name. Is no, that true? No, that's oh, not true. No. But obviously, when you came out of the house, things weren't as easy to make it work for real. Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't blame any of it no. like, on the pressure of fame or whatever like that. It's just, you know, our relationship didn't work. We were so different. But, you know, at the time we were so in love, it didn't matter that, you know, we were so different, it, you know, it was just, we were just... It was proper know. love, as yeah. far as you were concerned. Yeah, yeah it absolutely. was. Absolutely. And so what would you say then, when we're looking as we are now, and I'm a celebrity, looking at Mark and Keris seemingly to have something, Mark said he couldn't resist looking at her, misses her, and yet there's the girlfriend, Sarah, outside. What, what would you advise them? Because he's got a two-year relationship with Sarah, hasn't he? I just think that, I don't think, I really don't think there was anything in it. I think it mm. was just, you know, they're both in, they're both lonely. It's an unusual circumstance to be in. And, you know, if it, had, if it had been him getting friendly with Lynn, no one would have thought anything of it because it's, you know, it's him and Lynn. Well, I don't know, they were sort of snuggling up, weren't they, in a way that I'm not sure I'd want to see my Yeah, a doing. bit too close to comfort, I do agree, and I understand why Sarah's upset, but I just, I, you know, I think Mark's realised that he's been a bit, you know, stupid, and that's obviously why he's been upset and everything. But, um, no, I don't think that, you know, him and Keris will get together. So, look, looking at yourself, looking back now, would you do it all again? Would you have married Preston? Would you have stopped and thought about... What would you have done? Would you do it again? OK, if I could turn the clock back, mm. then, no, I wouldn't have married Preston. No, do you know, to just save all the heartache of, you know, for me, for Preston and our family. So, no, I wouldn't, but I don't regret it. I just wish it hadn't happened, if that makes sense. It doesn't really. <laughs> what I know, do you it mean? makes sense to me. <laughs> you know, I just, I don't regret it. I'll never, I just don't think that you should regret things in life. But, no. um, no. But you anyway, wish you let's hadn't. talk about the new love in reality, not, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. One's <laughs> over. <laughs> Yours over. What next for you, briefly? What are you up to? Um, I'm going to be bringing out a fitness DVD soon, um, mm. learning all about nutrition and everything mm. like that. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Well, good for you. Good for you. I'm glad you're smiling through Yeah, I am. <laughs> good to see this one, Chantel. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.